Hello, Lauren here today wanting to talk to you about working out what you do and don't like in sex because it's very easy to get really stuck in your own sexual experience and your own sex life and everything starts to blur a little bit. And until you have a tool to really clarify what you do and don't like in sex or what might be a future possibility, it's easy to feel really deflated and frustrated and feel like there's a lot that you don't like and not very much that you do like, which isn't the truth, I hope. Um, hopefully we can flip things around for you so that you can feel more certain about um, what you can actually do in sex and self-pleasure and how to do that. So without further ado, my favorite tool to work out what you do like in sex and what you don't like in sex and what you might like to do in future, what could be a possibility, is to do the red, yellow, green exercise. Super, super simple. So with red, yellow, green, all you need to do is write down what, what is in the category of a full yes for you when it comes to sex. When you know that, that goes into your green category. Green signifies that it gets the complete green light, the complete go ahead for your partner or you to complete a certain act in sex. So green is usually something that you've done before that you've really enjoyed and that you've gotten a lot of pleasure out of. Um, you could have also not have done green yet, but you're really certain it's something that you'd like to do in the near future or in the future. The beauty of red, yellow, green, before I go on to speak into yellow and red, is that it's very, very present and it can change over time something that's gotten a green, um, big green light in the past might not get a green light today and that's okay. So it's changeable and shiftable and very flexible because you're going to change and shift too as you grow and learn and as you go through your cycles of life, whether it be your menstrual cycle or cycles of age or motherhood or um, work, career, whatever it is. So this is very flexible. So green gets the two thumbs up. You love doing it or you, you want to do it. You want to do it in the future. You're so curious. You know that it's something that would speak to you. It could be a sex toy. It could be exploring with other people. It could be bringing music into your sex life. It could be bringing mirrors into your sex life. Um, it could be... You could have a green light all of a sudden around being in complete nudity in sex or having more lights on in your bedroom in sex. It doesn't have to be a big sweeping gesture or something that feels deeply tantric or removed from you. It can be, they can, it can be anything that's really little and that's what's beautiful about red, yellow, green. Yellow. Yellow is something that you feel like there is a bit of a yes there, but it feels more like a maybe to you. It's got a question mark over it. Um, and the thing about maybe is in, in really good quality, good quality sexuality work, a maybe should be treated like a no. And maybe should be treated like a no because it doesn't have your full yes. And we really want to tread carefully around where there's a maybe because something is holding you back or making you feel reluctant. And it could just be plain old fear and things being unfamiliar. But we don't want you to feel pushed or pressured into doing things in sex that you don't want to do. So be very careful with things that you categorize as yellow, acts of sex that you categorize as yellow. It means that there's a curiosity, there's a maybe, um, there's a this could possibly be up my alley, but right now there's some uncertainty and the uncertainty is holding me back. 
So tread carefully and just it's almost like you're acknowledging that it's something there, but you're just going to put it to the side for now. The, the yellow light could change into a yes in future or it could really swing into being a big no for you and only time will tell. But for now, just put it to the side and make sure if you're in a relationship that your partner knows that that, that doesn't mean that you can be talked into the yellow category becoming a green, if that makes sense. Make sure that there's no pressure around it or force for what you're curious about to actually happen in real life. Your, your yellow might stay as a fantasy and you might use it as a fantasy in sex and that's where you feel safe with it. It doesn't mean that you have to act on it. Lastly, a red category. So red means that you, it is a big no for you. You don't want to do it. You might have had a negative experience in the past. You might, um, you might feel really strongly opposed to it. Um, that act might feel humiliating for you. It might feel sh like deeply shameful for you. Uh, it might feel embarrassing. It might feel limiting. It might feel degrading. Whatever it is, whenever you feel a red come up with an act of sex, um, or with a sex toy or talking dirty or whatever it is, if you feel that no come up, that is definitely for your red category. So red is complete no. And just like the other categories, a no right now doesn't mean that it will be a no forever. Some of your no's definitely will be, but not necessarily all of them. So a no or something in the red category might gently uh, gently evolve and move into the yellow category for a little while. And then once it's spent some time there, it might gently evolve again and move up into the green category where it gets a complete green light from you. And that's because even though we have our experiences and our beliefs and our memories and our values, they can shift and soften over time. They're not necessarily fixed. Some of them will be, but a lot of them won't be. And generally acquiring new quality information and education can help you to make a more informed decision and to see some of the possibilities for pleasure that might lie in some of those really taboo acts or some of those acts that have felt a little bit forbidden to you. But no pressure. Red, yellow, green is personal. It's really personal. And it's something that I've found to really help with um, simplifying what happens in sex and knowing exactly where you stand. Because when we know where we stand, it's then that we can communicate to our current partner or our future partners, or even in a way communicate to ourselves and inform ourselves what it is that we like and we don't like in sex. And hopefully there's no one out there that doesn't like, that doesn't have dislikes in sex, double negatives. They always trip you up. Um, there's always going to be things that you like and things that you don't like. If there were to be someone who said that they loved absolutely everything about sex and we listed everything that is possible within sex, I'd start to be worried that uh, they didn't have good boundaries um, and that they could be vulnerable to being manipulated or used in a way. So you don't have to like everything in sex. God, no. God, no. Um, but it will help you if you're feeling really lost, if your intuition feels cloudy, to list these out. And I'll write that down now. Really big tip, my clients really love this when I bring it into sessions, when they're just not sure about where they stand, what they like, and how they can communicate this to their partner. Um, brings a lot of clarity. Very good clarity building exercise. 
Let me know how you go with red, yellow, green. And in the meantime, I'll let you know what's coming up. We've got Amplified Group Program. It is a spring group program. It runs from the 1st of September till the 30th of November. It's a very intimate gathering of, I'm calling in four women. Now, you don't have to live in Brisbane itself. You just have to be able to get to Brisbane on four occasions to talk talk about your libido, your story, how you communicate and pleasure. And I'm going to be guiding you through over the 90 days with the group sessions, the guidebooks and the private forum that we have. The beauty of Amplified is it culminates in a one-to-one -one session to me where we can celebrate how you have turned up and turned on in your voice, in your life and in sex. So if you can sort of source your desires or even if you've got problems sourcing your desires and what you like in sex, then you can um, join Amplified so that you can start to speak to those desires and you can start to know how you want to communicate all of those desires. So it's lots of permission granting for you and the group is so cohesive and it's so safe. So that is up now. What I'll put in the comments is a few more details about red, yellow, green as a bit of a cheat sheet version and I'll put up the link to Amplified as well. Um, it starts on September 1st. So you just got to get yourself to Brisbane for the four group sessions. All the details are on the page and I would love to see you. If you've got any ideas about what you'd like for Facebook Live, then please get in touch with me. Otherwise, I should be here next Wednesday. If I'm not going to be, I'll let you know. And I'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye now.